In today's video, I finally got an ATO for my Waterbox Marine X 60.2. I honestly don't know why I didn't do it sooner. But anyway, I've got one. I'm setting one up in this video today, showing you how I put it together and into my tank. I also got a filter cup for my water box as well. Um, I hate having to clean out filter socks all the time, so it's been an absolute game changer. Cannot wait to show you. On a side note, how gorgeous is this beach? It's actually called Misery Beach. As you can tell, it is pretty miserable to be here. <laughs> and it was actually classed as one of Australia's best beaches of 2022. So not bad if I do say so myself. But if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on that bell so that you're notified when I'm uploading new videos. And as always, such a huge thank you to all of my subscribers and supporters it means the absolute world so thank you but anyways let's get back home I'll show you the ATO and also the filter cup and pop it all together so let's get back home and check it out all right so here we have the Kamoa ATO 1-2 and just quickly a massive shout out to my subscriber Teddy for gifting me this for the tank so appreciate your support so thank you so let's have a look what we get in the box and I will be showing you in this video how I install it into the tank for anyone that's never had an ATO or is looking into them um, exactly how they work and how they fit into your system. Right, so opening the box, we've got the instruction manual and we've got the control that sits in the box just like that. All right, so at the box, we've got our control with our two sensor magnets on there. Here we've got the pump itself, which will be pumping the water out of your ATO reservoir. It's got a suction cap on the bottom, which you will stick to the very bottom. This is your sensor up the top here. Um, and this is where your tubing will be connecting to through there. So you've got your sensor up the top there. This suctions onto the bottom of the reservoir and this can suction onto the side so it's nice and stable in your ATO reservoir. So we've got that. We've also got a siphon brake, which will be going, you'll be cutting this length of tubing um, and I'll show you how I do that a little bit later on, but that'll stop water siphoning back into your ATO, which would be a bad time. So we definitely don't want that to happen. We've also got the nice Kamoa clip, which will clip our tubing and keep it nice and secure on the side of the sump. And lastly, just the power pack there. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect it all up now. All right, so I'm gonna go and plug in the power and feed through the other end around the back of the sump. All right, so I've got my power around on this side. Obviously, I'm going to make sure it doesn't go in the water. Then I'm going to stick this on to the side of the tank over here. This might just be the hardest part about it, is getting this thing off. <laughs> Has anyone else had a bad time, like, getting this off? Flipping it. I got it. <laughs> Far out. Anyway, three years later, I've got it off. I'm gonna put it above my doser just in case it falls off because then it'll just fall onto there because the doser is actually screwed on. So I'm gonna do that. Now I'm gonna pop this into my ATO reservoir. As I said, suctioning this down on the bottom and that onto the side with the sensor up the top. So technically, as soon as the water level gets lower than that sensor, it'll start sending off an alarm that you need to top up your ATO. So then you've still got that amount of time to react <laughs> to fill up your ATO before your pump starts running dry. So it's gonna be collecting water in through the bottom here. But I really like that it's got an audible alarm so you won't be able to miss it. You'll know it's time to go and fill up your water reservoir. So I'll show you that now. All right, so I'm gonna plug one end of the tube onto there. Then I'm gonna stick this down to the very bottom of here. So it's stuck to the bottom with the suction caps and also to the side. There's no kinks in the hose or anything like that. So just sits in the bottom just like that. So the blue control is your S1. So you want this to be exactly where you want your water line to stay at in your sump. So as soon as the water level starts dropping below this blue sensor, it'll trigger a response in your machine to then start filling up the tank again. So before getting this, I did have markers on my sump, which I made sure that because I was dosing using my Kamoa doser so I just made sure that when it was dosing RODI that it stayed and maintained that water level um, as you can see I've got a marker here um, so I've got markers on the other side of my sump as well showing me where the water level is meant to stay at so I'm going to go ahead and pop this marker where I want the water level to stay in the sump and they come with a little rubber backing as well just so you can see because it's got the rubber Backing on there, I'm gonna push it down to where it needs to be. So that one's attached on now. 
Then you've also got your S3 sensor, which is the red one. So this is to be placed a little bit higher than the blue one. So this is like a safety backup, this red one. Um, so you know if the water gets up to this level, which is gonna be higher than your blue one, then something has failed. Your blue one has failed, the sensor's failed. This is to ensure that if there was a failure, that you're not gonna just keep getting RODI water dumped into your system and throwing your salinity way off. So this is a great safety feature to make sure that everything's still in check and that it will shut off the system and not let it continuously dose RODI um, if the first sensor has failed. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach that to the side above the blue marker. So there you can see them both sitting there. The red one is higher than the blue one. Then lastly, we've just gonna clip this onto the side. So this is where our hose will be going through. So I'm just gonna attach it here. We'll tidy this up in a sec, but I'm gonna cut my hose about here and I'm going to put in this very important part is the anti-siphon connector so I'm going to pop that in here and then I can pop the rest of the hose on here I'm going to pop that over around the other side all right there we go so technically if we plug that in it should now fill up so see how it is siphoning the water into there and up here it is filling up. So just to show you as well, I'm just draining out the ATO reservoir here. Just to show you what the alarm will sound like once this gets past the sensor on the pump down the bottom there. So, so you'll get a red light alarm there. I've actually lifted it. I've actually lifted it so that it's exposed. So as soon as it gets to that, it'll keep sounding that alarm until the water level covers that top sensor up the top. Let's do that down the bottom. So the alarm's gone off now because it's covered. All right, so now I've tested it. I know it's a little bit messy with all of my uh, dosing lines there, but um, I will obviously use, use them eventually. So now I've tested it, I'm confident that this is all working. I definitely wanted to make sure that the alarm was sounding to make sure that this doesn't run dry. So I've tested that and it is all good to go. Quick update, I have turned back on the skimmer. I really can't decide whether to have that on and off, but I have turned it back on and the clarity of the water's gotten so much better. As you can see, I've got it on very, very low. So I might as well have it on. I did actually just get this awesome filter cup made. I know in my previous video I did say that the Kraken Reef were going to be sending me a filter cup. It was actually a feeder cup which fits into the lid that I got from Kraken Reef. So that was the size. Um, yeah, it was just a bit of a mix up. So yeah, but unfortunately that won't fit into my sump as a filter cup. So a reefer who I met at Reefstock had a 3D printer and actually fit, printed me these awesome filter cups even personalized saying simple aquariums on there. How cool is that? I put the largest size in the sump, um, but these are super, super sturdy and it's been working an absolute treat. So really stoked with these. If anyone in Australia is looking for something like this to be made, because you're sick of filter socks like I was, send me a message and I can get you his details, but these are super sturdy. So now all I have to do is replace the filter floss in there when it's gotten a bit dirty instead of having to worry about cleaning out a filter sock every few days which is awesome so it's a massive shout out to you for making me those they're absolutely awesome super happy with them so yeah now we've got that all set up ready to go i can feel very confident about the tank's salinity now that it is all good i mean the dose of work but i'm definitely not going to have to worry about it as much as i did with the doser just because i continuously had to make sure it was the right levels but um um, now I don't have to worry about that at all. And it's got an awesome buzzer on there and alarm to let me know when I need to top it up. I'll give you also a quick update on the tank as well. Um, as you can see, I've got my lovely Zoa garden here. I did actually end up taking all the Bango Cardinals out of here. Um, I had a few people saying that, you know, if I'm eventually going to have SBS in here and have higher flow, that the Bangais are going to absolutely hate that. So I have popped them into my six foot tank and they seem to be pretty happy in there. Now, it actually looks like I've got no fish in here at all, but they all really just hang near the rock. So uh, there's my neon duddy back, my flame hawk my chunky monkey back there. And I have got a new addition. 
a little coral goby who has been hanging out back here. Super, super cute. Since I had the Bangai Cardinals in here, I actually quite like this to be really simple and not, I don't know if this is the right word, but messy with the fish swimming around. Like I like that all these fish kind of sit in the rock work and it's still just that as the main feature, the, the rock work. You know, I've got my fish and everything is pretty much the main feature in my other tank, but it's nice to have this as just a clean, crisp sort of scape. I do have fish, but they're very, um, contained to the rock. And I'm actually thinking now um, I might stick to my blennies, all the same sort of type of fish that kind of um, sit, sit like that, um, just hang out in the rock work like that, rather than having fish that are swimming around in the open space, just to keep it really clean and crisp. Yeah, that's my new thoughts on this. I know I wanted to have a whole school of Bangai Cardinals, but that didn't end up working. I think I prefer that. I feel like it looks less messy. So um, anyway, that's, that's what I'm gonna go with for this tank. I might just start a little collection of all little fish that all hide in the rock work and perch on the rock work like this guy over here. So I reckon that might be my goal for this tank, just have all lots of beautiful little fish like that. But yeah, don't really take away from the clean and tidiness of that sort of scape. So I don't know if that makes any sense whatsoever. So I'm gonna do that. Um, I am loving my zoas, they're doing great there. Um, and also my Deadpool morph. I want this to be like a really intricate sort of tank. Um, I always wanted my SBS, which is just beautiful, intricate corals. So I, I just really want it to be that kind of tank. So now I've got my ATO all installed. Um, it should make life a lot easier. Honestly, I don't know why I didn't do it sooner, to be perfectly honest. Well, thank you so much for watching. Honestly, this has been an absolute game changer, getting both of these for my water box. Don't know why I didn't do it sooner and I really want to get an ATO for my six month tank. <laughs> anyway, so much exciting stuff to come. Make sure you stay tuned and if you're not already, please go and subscribe and we will see you next time.